Yeah, it's dark out. Big whoop. Wanna fight about it? I needed to make this video. Someone said something the other day, and I was just like, you know what? I might as well freaking make the video real quick because it was a request. So now that the car is in the stage of, um, you know, ready to tune this, I figured I should just, you know, make the video on what all the turbo stuff costs. So we're all about to leave and whatnot, but you while my stuff is cooling down. I'm gonna freaking make this here video. There we go, open that dang hood. So the first thing that I'm gonna mention, obviously, is you guys know, or if you don't know, I used to have an H23 in here. Um, fuel got in the freaking oil and whatever happened, and uh, yeah, spun a balance shaft bearing and that caused me to have no oil pressure that just confirms it's not blown up i just got no oil pressure because that goddamn stupid balance shaft shit i'm gonna look up how to do that but i figured i'd give you guys a little first person view of that wastegate because i'm pretty hype on that see the trick is you gotta keep it in the rpms the whole time here i got you guys so i was like what's the next best thing so I chose the F20B because they're cheap. We'll start this at $707 exactly, delivered from New Jersey to my shop, which is, you know, in Connecticut. Freaking nice. So that was $707. Got you, bro. I got you. Oh, all right, all right, all right, bet. <laughs> so, the next thing I got, I'll point it over here. This here manifold is just the eBay log manifold, and that was $62.99 on the great old eBay. The next thing I got was a billet manual, like, timing tensioner, and that was for, it goes in here, you know, because the, the tensioners that come on these are stupid. I don't like them. So, I needed a clutch for it. It was slipping second gear when it was in the H23 when it was boosted. Enable two-step. Use TPS base. So that was $149 FX Stage 4 Performance Clutch from eBay. Uh, with the flywheel and all this is just some piping. I spent 26 bucks on each of those. I bought two of those So, you know fit $62 next was Intake couplers that was 13 13 18 three bar map sensor. I bought for 30 bucks my oil gauge the PSI gauge 1879 Why are you laughing dude? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's your deal dude? Did you fart? Yeah, I just Fuck, dude. Right <sighs> well, this video is gonna suck now. This is your fault, bro. You stop, <laughs> dude. <laughs> My boost gauge was $33.98. I'll show you that stuff after. The triple pod thing that I used that did not fit that I had to cut the hell out of. Uh, I got it on there, but that was $15.20. My fuel injector top hat, $14.95. You need to use them because I'm using the Hunter Tuned LS truck injectors, something like that, decapped at uh, 802C. Glow Shift Aluminum Oil Filter Sandwich Plate. That's how I get my oil to the turbo. That's where I get my oil PSI from. Whose address, buddy? <laughs> yeah, nah. I made that mistake before. Turbo Oil Drain and Return Feed Kit, whatever. Um, that was $30.99. The gasket for the turbo was $1.60. My Gen 2 Type RS blow off valve. Like a real. Gray yeah, it's a RS. Gen 2, yeah. Dr Gen, Gen 2, 2 gray right RS, here. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you, you got it, you got it. Yeah, it was $35.25. I am running a Kemso 340 liter per hour fuel pump, whatever. I've heard a bunch of good things about them. It's a 340, so it's plenty of fuel, way more than I'll ever need. This would probably be fine with the stock pump, but it was $29.98. Turbocharger, the meat and gears of this whole operation here. It's a 6750. Uh, it was $106, excuse me, $106.88. Uh, it spools nice and fast. It fits my radiator, which I didn't have to buy. I bought a 40 millimeter wastegate dump pipe. Uh, I ended up just making one. 
the only thing that's left is like the flange of the one that I bought. And that right there. You could run rope through there like, you know, like a boat. That right there. Uh, if you go on eBay a lot, some, somebody asked me, I just, literally just searched 2.5 inch exhaust pipe fender exit bezel turbo dump trim ring billet two and a half fender fling, <laughs> fling, not flange, fling. Literally, literally fling. <laughs> fling, yeah, it was a fling. The intercooler piping was $40. Uh, I got it on Marketplace on Facebook. Intercooler, I didn't have to buy the intercooler, but if you were factoring in an intercooler, I think they're like 80 bucks. That one was yeah, like 80 bucks. Is. If you were to buy a full intercooler piping kit, like a universal one, it'd probably run you like, I think they're a hundred and, it's probably $180 with everything, like the intercooler and all that. Probably come with a blow valve too. The AEM fuel rail, which was actually donated by a viewer. So huge shout out to Steven Wargo. This. Can I move your head real quick? Just so they could see it's AEM, there you go. Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was donated. I don't know how much those run, but I, I do have the stock one, but I'm not going to use it because that's, you know, it looks nice. I did get ARP head studs. Those were $160, I think. The head gasket was, I think, $95 from Cometic, and they actually ran out of stock of F20B once, so they had to make me one. That's all I really did internal-wise for this thing. Everything else I took off from the F20 or from the H23, put onto this, like all the accessories and whatnot, the pulley, because the other pulley's different. It's like a big single pulley. <laughs> Over here, I have an EGR delete that was also donated by a viewer. I had to get a P28 ECU, which I got from my buddy Brent. He hit me up and he was like, hey, dude, I have one because I posted I was looking for one. And, um,. He had one that was already chipped and socketed or whatever from eBay. It's brand new, freaking has like a wrinkle black uh, top plate on it. And then I got the Neptune Demon V2, which was $460 with Bluetooth, with everything. I will uh, add all that up and uh, come back to you guys with a fine. Actually, I'm just going to do it off video and then I'll just put it on the screen right here. So this is how much, this is how much it cost. For me to swap and boost this car, which, um, so if you were doing this in a Civic or whatever, you could probably B swap it for about the same price because, well, maybe a little bit less because these are a little bit more expensive than the B18s, LS, GSR. Well, it's probably about the same as like a GSR off Craigslist or something, but B20, LS, B18, uh, stuff like that. You could probably do all that for very cheap. And, uh, in other words, go K. No, no, never go K. No one go. I don't hate K series, but H series, dude, they have the spot in my heart. I like them. Mm -hmm. It's just a coincidence that they fit in these cars without any modifications. Oh, also, I, I uh, filled the motor mounts, the stock two side motor mounts with uh, window weld. And yeah, you can't see it yeah, back you there. You can't see that. Yeah. But um, another, well, same viewer that donated the fuel rail. And a couple other things like uh, headlights and stuff sent me a Hasport rear mount. So you can't see that, but it's behind the intake manifold. But it's nice. Nicest mount I have, you can't see. All you see is this freaking stock, ugly little Abraham Lincoln top hat mount and uh, the tranny mount. But it seems to work really good. You can see the engine doesn't move. I mean, you know, you could start it and... So if you've been watching the videos, um, you've seen this before, but this is the my dash setup. That was a fuel pump kicking on, but this is that triple thing. You can see it's like jagged up here, and we're probably going to cut a vacuum line and just, you know, make it fit better. But this is the cockpit of the Prelude. I do need a shift knob. I'm probably just going to get one on eBay. Um, it does have this little short shifter adapter, but I figured I would make this video because it's ready to tune i'm gonna figure out the power steering stuff at some other point but it's ready to tune and after the tune is like paint i have the wheels uh registration stuff like that but this is actually here you should film the startup over there so you can see the engine not move it used to move a lot the other mounts were really bad it didn't even look like it moved <laughs> Really? Even starting like that? Huh? Even starting like that, it didn't. No, bro, it didn't even move. Mind you, I'm. Remember not... how my KA with the bad mouse yeah. it used to be like. Look, mind you, I'm not a professional tuner. I'm the one who did this startup tune. So, yeah, it's not. Uh... See the engine? It wasn't moving. No, it wasn't. 
So yeah, you know you don't gotta you don't gotta drop like 150 bucks on some poly mounts. I parked this a little too close, but basically this is uh, Donovan knows my obsession for preludes. I had one before. I had a couple before. This is my four and a half one, and um, this is gonna be my daily. I'm getting it tuned very soon. Shout out to Jimmy and. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a quick video because someone commented today, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna wait until the video, until it's like done, done. But I figured, why why even wait? Because it's it's ready to tune. So. So yeah. That's it. A hundred thousand likes, guys. Damien will get a Mugen bumper because Jesus the Christ, are sick, dude. I don't really like the Mugen. He doesn't bumpers. He really care for. I love them. Yeah. I love the whole headlight cover shit. Yeah. If you guys know fourth gen preludes, which I know. Some of you surprisingly do, but it's not a common car for people to like mod. It's not a Civic or whatever. Probably get better views if it was a Civic, but <laughs> I don't know. Maybe shout out to Boosted Boys because they have a Prelude. Maybe they're sending some traffic my way from Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I the they're, they're, they're making like a thousand. Yeah, their Prelude's <laughs> like, it's fucking, that, that Prelude's super OG. It's fucking insane, but this is not going to be near that. I'm going to tune this thing at 6 PSI right on the wastegate spring, just... It's just going to be a nice daily driver that I'm going to enjoy and try not to blow up. And I also have that engine, which was donated by a viewer <laughs> as well. That's an F20B as well, so I'll probably be building that at some point. Or if I blow a hole in this block, I have extra pistons, I got an extra crank, I got a whole extra block, head cams, everything. So just cane mint on the ground. Yeah, cane mint, just tangier as well. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed that whole thing, just a super quick video, but I figured I'd make it in case anyone who isn't subscribed or doesn't know anything about like me or my car or anything like that, and is looking into doing something like this, can have a little bit of insight of how much it costs. And I did this thing on the absolute skinniest budget I could, fi I could possibly do, and uh, I think I managed to do it. Yeah, dude, eBay turbo kit, bunch of parts, new swap, Bunch of DIY shit, but she's ready to tune, and uh, that's about it for the video. So I'll see you guys next time. Don, you can end it, dude. I don't have the energy. Hit the record button, dude. No, dude, you have to end it, dude. I have people to end said, it, bro? dude. We pe gotta end people, it with, the, with the prelude, bro. No, people said that they missed your vlogs, dude. Oh, so you dude. have to end it, dude. <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Have a good night.